The headquarters of Kentucky FFA is in Frankfurt, but since 1937, the heart and soul of the organization has been at the Kentucky FFA Leadership Training Center in Hardensburg. Let's dive into the early beginnings of the LTC. Shortly after Kentucky FFA was formed in 1930, it became a statewide dream to establish a camp for FFA members in the state. In 1937, a group of district chairmen from the Kentucky Vocational Agricultural Teachers Association, under the direction of Dr. Ralph Woods, visited several civilian conservation corps camps that were closing. The group unanimously chose the camp in Breckenridge County near the city of Hardensburg. Dr. Woods personally paid $26 for an option to purchase the site. The CCC camp was originally established in 1933. CCC members planted thousands of locust trees in washouts and drains of the area to prevent erosion and to add nitrogen to the soil. Prior to serving as a CCC camp, the site served as a home to the 16th President Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln and his family lived in a cabin on the LTC property in the autumn of 1816 during their move from Kentucky to Indiana. To purchase the Hardensburg CCC camp, $1,750 was borrowed from the Farmers Bank of Hardensburg on April 14, 1937. The note was paid off by assessing 50 cents per FFA member in every chapter across the state. A total of $2,650 was raised between all of the fundraising efforts, which included several donations from the local community. After completing the purchase, the existing temporary structures on the property were donated to the State Board of Education for use at the newly established FFA camp. This included buildings such as barracks for sleeping, a recreation hall, a bathhouse, and a kitchen with a mess hall to enjoy meals together. Pictured is what is believed to be the first group of students to ever attend the Kentucky FFA Leadership Training Center in the summer of 1937. The early days of the LTC included many of the same routines and traditions as today. To start each morning, flag raising was observed to pay respect to the United States of America, a tradition that continues today. Athletics have long been included in the LTC experience. Time spent in competition with other FFA members has strengthened relationships since the early beginnings of the LTC. However, some athletic activities such as morning exercise and boxing were left behind in history. To no surprise, classes were just as important to the early LTC experience as they are today. Even from the early days, students learned valuable information to take home and share with their chapters and communities. Being a longtime progressive agricultural organization, the roots of the Kentucky FFA Leadership Training Center took pride in providing students with many modern experiences, such as an hour each day with radios, magazines, and relevant educational material. No LTC day was complete without time spent having fun at the lake. Within the first year of purchasing the site, a small palm was constructed on the property at the cost of $1,400. The palm was later expanded to become the lake present today. Boats, rope swings, and a diving board were all part of the early lake experience at the LTC. During the World War II era, the LTC was closed due to war efforts and did not reopen until June 1947. Following the reopening of the LTC, fundraising for a swimming pool began in 1948. The pool was eventually opened for use during the 1951 camping season for a total cost of $40,000. This pool, which is still in use today, became the first swimming pool that most students attending camp ever used. In the early 1950s, a dream was developed to replace the old military-style barracks and buildings with modern cottages and classrooms. In the 1953-54 year, a major fund drive was led by state FFA President Lawrence Hall, raising $250,000. This was accomplished through donations from FFA chapters, local individuals, and statewide sponsors. This allowed for a complete overhaul of the Leadership Training Center facilities. The new facilities included a state-of-the-art dining hall, administration building, classroom building, bathhouse, and a total of 20 cottages. The new facilities were dedicated on July 18, 1956. Festivities included a parade through downtown Hardensburg and greetings from the governor. As the LTC evolved over time, day-to-day -day camp operations slowly started to resemble how they are today. Video footage from the 1960s showcases the newly constructed facilities that gave camp a revitalized look. 
classes were taught such as tractor driving, electricity, boating safety, and officer training. Recreational activities continued to be an important part to each day of the FFA LTC in the 1960s. Just as it happened in the earliest days of the LTC, some activities were left behind in this era such as hurdle jumping, rifle practice, and tug of war. However, some activities are time honored and will forever be part of the LTC experience, such as time spent in the pool, on the sports fields, and in other friendly competitions. In the summer of 1970, Mr. Robert Woody Cox of the Bourbon County FFA chapter brought the first female FFA members to the LTC. Female involvement in the Leadership Training Center program has steadily grown since that time. Today, girls make up over half of those attending any given week of operation. The agricultural industry faced major challenges during the early 1980s due to droughts, high interest rates, and low commodity prices. Enrollment in agricultural education and FFA fell throughout the decade. In 1988, the National Organization changed its name from Future Farmers of America to the National FFA Organization to reflect a broader base of career opportunities available in agriculture. Thanks to the broader focus on careers across the agricultural industry and new course offerings in agricultural education, enrollment and membership began to climb throughout the 1990s. Efforts of State Senator Joe Wright in the early 1990s led to funding being approved by the Kentucky Legislature for a new administration building and dormitory facility. These buildings included a large auditorium, four classrooms, a small kitchen, office space for the LTC staff, and a dormitory with 12 rooms. The new buildings were dedicated on June 14, 1994 and allowed the facilities to be used for events on a year-around basis for the first time in LTC history. As participation at the Kentucky FFA Leadership Training Center steadily grew from the mid-1990s to the late 2000s, it became apparent that the facility must improve again. In 2009, the Kentucky FFA Foundation secured funding to construct a ropes challenge course at the Leadership Training Center. The ROPES course allows chapters and individuals to further develop their leadership and teamwork skills. Thanks to the support of Kentucky Farm Bureau and work of the Kentucky Vocational Agricultural Teachers Association, $2 million was approved by the Kentucky General Assembly to renovate the kitchen and add a dining hall addition. Governor Steve Bashir helped break ground for the renovation and expansion project in the summer of 2010, and First Lady Jane Bashir officially opened the dining hall in the summer of 2011. The LTC today is a thriving environment that has been tailored over the years to serve FFA members with both tradition and progress. Reaping the benefits from years of hard work and upkeep, the LTC continues to change with time in order to provide members with the most modern experience possible. Over 80 years after it was founded, the Kentucky FFA Leadership Training Center continues a legacy of training FFA members to be leaders in the agriculture industry.